Hi friends, welcome back to Locally Raised. Behind me, I've got my tomato seeds and my pepper seeds that I've started for this summer's garden. This is the extent of the indoor seed sowing I'm gonna be doing this year because I'm giving myself a limited budget for starting seeds. We've got a couple homestead projects coming up. We're going to be building a chicken coop and several more raised beds. And so I just don't wanna spend a bunch of money this year on an indoor seed starting system with grow lights and trays and shelving and all of that. So instead I'm using some aquaponic growing systems that I happen to have that weren't in use right now and then some cups and trays from the dollar store. So let me show you the process I went through to plant these and I'll also share with you what kinds of tomatoes and peppers I'll be growing this year and what I plan to do to grow large resilient tomatoes this year. So I've got plastic cups. These are gonna be my little pots. And then I've purchased a lasagna, disposable lasagna tray, also from the dollar store. And that's gonna be my seed starting tray. I'm gonna start off with drilling some holes in my cups. If you don't have access to a drill for drainage holes, you can always use a nail and put it in a flame and it'll melt a hole through, or you can use a knife and just twist it into the bottom. So my cups all have drainage holes. Now I'm gonna fill them with soil. I've dampened this soil ahead of time. The soil should be damp enough that if you took a fistful and really squeezed it, you might be able to get a drop out. Last spring I started tomato seeds indoors and I followed all the techniques recommended by Brian from Next Level Gardening and I got the thickest tomato stems I've ever had. Unfortunately I moved just before the first green tomatoes ripened so I never got to eat them but those were very strong plants so I'll be taking that same approach again this year. The reason I've only filled these halfway with soil before planting the tomato seeds is because when my little tomato seedling sprouts and get several sets of leaves, I'm gonna then strip off those leaves and put more soil in the container so that the stem can send out more roots and develop a stronger root system before I put it in the ground. When it's time to put it in the ground, I'll go through the same routine. So after the plant has sprouted above this cup, I'll again strip down some of the leaves, leaving just a few at the top. And then when I transplant it into the garden, I'm gonna plant deeper than the root system so that again, it has a second opportunity to send out more roots and develop a really deep root system. Also, once the plant sprouts its first true leaves, so the first two leaves are seedling leaves, and after that is true leaves, I will start to fertilize this with a half strength fertilizer. I'll also put some rock phosphate in the hole in the garden when I transplant this out so that it can give the plant a head start in terms of all the nutrients it needs. And between all those little tricks, I will hopefully get those really thick stems that I got last year. First up, I'm planting Kellogg's breakfast. This is one of the ones that I grew last year that I didn't get to harvest. A friend of mine actually harvested it because our buyers hadn't moved in yet when we moved out and they were enormous and she said they were delicious. So I'm gonna plant just one of these. I'm gonna plant two of these little seeds just in case one doesn't germinate. They're just about quarter or half inch in the soil. They're just the tiniest bit beneath the surface cover them up and they're ready to go. Next is the Paul Robeson. I haven't grown these before, but I've heard that they're delicious. So I'm gonna grow just one of these because between that and Kellogg's breakfast, I really only need two plants to have enough slicing tomatoes and salad tomatoes for my family. I've also got the Amish paste tomato. This is what I wanna grow the majority of because in the midst of the summer when the tomatoes are pouring in, the only way to use all of them is to process them. So I'm aiming to grow more of these this year and that way they can become my tomato soup and my tomato paste and my tomato sauce, those sorts of things. So I'll plant four of these. 
And then finally, I want to grow two tomatillos because I want to eat some salsa verde this year. I want to make some and can it. Uh, I also want some cherry tomatoes in my garden, but I only need one or two of those. And so I'll buy them as starts. These tomatoes are ready to go into my little seedling tray. Of course, you can buy real seedling trays, but this was $1.25 at Family Dollar. So it's pretty convenient and affordable if you don't want to go out to a nursery. Ideally, seeds and seedlings are watered from below, so I've drilled those holes in these cups. I'm just going to put a little water in here and the soil can soak up some moisture. As I said, I've got my aquaponic growing systems here. I have one of my own and I borrowed one from my mom and we happen to not be growing in them right now. So I'm going to use these as my grow lights, that way I don't have to buy any. <laughs> This is jerry-rigged, but it's gonna work. I've got a shoe box that I'm gonna use to prop things up because I want these to be right under the grow lights. Let's try out the tomatoes first. It's pretty great, I love it. I think these two are too far removed from the grow light, so I'm gonna put those in the pepper tray. Uh, and then I think the other six are in good shape. So let's go get those peppers planted. If I really wanted to maximize space in my trays, I could use smaller cups than these for my peppers. The only reason for using cups this big was to take advantage of the height and building up the root systems of the tomatoes. So I could use smaller cups and fit a lot more plants under the grow light, but this is gonna be fine for me. I'm gonna plant four pepper plants. I'm gonna do one of the Etudia. This is one that I planted last year, but again, I didn't get to harvest it because I moved. So I'm curious to see what this tastes like. Uh, but the, the thing that I really want this year are red peppers. So I'm gonna plant three of these so I can slice them and freeze them and eat them throughout the year. these two tomatoes so that we have six each and then my pepper and tomato tray will go into its spot. These disposable baking trays come with lids just like a seed starting tray would. So I'm going to cover these to hold in heat and moisture just until they germinate and then I'll take these off and they'll grow out in the open air after they've germinated. It's a bit cobbled together, but I'm pretty pleased because I think it's going to do its job and I'm looking forward to seeing these tomatoes and peppers germinate and this cost me $4 at the dollar store. Now I've got my cold weather crops started in my jugs outdoors. I've got my tomatoes and peppers going here. I'll direct sow a few things, probably my cucumbers and squash I'll direct sow. And then I'm also going to buy a few starts. Uh, so it feels really good to have the spring garden underway. And I just can't wait to be outside working with plants. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.